Welcome to Channel to Chaos. Today I'm going to show you how to create an array of objects of a particular structure. This is done as same as a variable structure, a declaration of a single object I mean, but there's few minor changes that I would like to explain to you in this tutorial. So basically I want to declare a structure of an employee, alright, and then I'm going to explain how to create an array of that particular structure. So first of all we create a structure with a keyword struct name of the structure, I'm going to name it employee we give it two curly brace brackets one for the opening and one for the ending and inside these we specify as many data members as we want of different data types starting with the name, okay, character, name and a name is a string, so I'm going to declare of a 20 elements integer salary alright, and let's say an integer employee ID so these are just the few specific and the unique elements that an employee has so that is all specified over there now we need to create an object now this tutorial was going to explain how to create an object and well basically array of objects now array is a collection of elements of the same type and let's say that this thing E and E1 are the same thing right they both access the same structure and the same data elements just their memory location is different but the thing is they perform the same task and well they're stored in different places but they are the same and array does the same thing array is basically a collection multiple elements of the same type so why not use an array right rather than specifying 15 different objects you can use an array to just to sum it all up in one place I'm gonna put it as 10 elements it's more than what we need so there you go it's done over here okay array was a structure which has 10 objects created right over here if you wanna be different or something you can directly create it inside the main just give it the name of the I mean the structure alright with the name of the object obviously specifying the struct as a prefix don't forget that. But I'm, I like to specify it directly over here. It's simple and easy to understand. Now I'll specify 10. All right. Now that we have created 10 objects, or an array of 10, of the of the structure employee or the description of an employee, now we can use it to access and retrieve information. Okay. So let's say I'm gonna use a loop. Obviously, since an array is a collection of elements we need to we require a loop to go in a sequential order so it's a finite number of sequential elements I'm going to declare an integer i all right, for the indexing all this has been explained before the only thing that is new is this all right i is equal to zero let's say when I have five elements we're not gonna mess it up all so there you go five elements open these brackets sorry for that I'm just having some minor issues with the keyboard alright sorry for that okay now that we have the for loop what we're gonna do inside this is having a printf statement and a scanf statement to scan those elements first printf alright and then we have the scanf now we wanna do this uh, three times for each element one for the name one for the salary and one for the employee ID so what I'm gonna do is just gonna copy that okay, and I'm, I'm really lazy with this kind of stuff alright we are all done all we need to type in is the messages enter name percent uh, s since it's a string comma ampersand of sorry comma ampersand of here is what is different over here you need to type in the name of the variable which is right here as you can see it's e so e with the brackets of an array in the front dot the name of the variable okay this is really important that you specify this in the front with the indexing variable inside which is i now the reason we do that because again it's an array it's not as just a single variable if it would be a single variable we just do it this way and it will work just fine the thing is we need to declare this if we want to access the array of the structure so make sure that you have specified this alright once we have done that I'm gonna put a slash n so the program doesn't look like it came from hell so enter salary okay 
I'm going to type in percent %d you can specify percent %d, percent %i, d is for the decimal, i is for the integer it's the same thing, comma and percent of e with the two brackets in the front dot salary alright with the indexing variable inside now this is again all explained in the tutorial of for loops so if you don't remember what is an indexing variable what is an array, these are tutorials of everything already done alright so make sure you check them out enter emp id alright scanf percent d comma ampersand of alright ampersand of e of the indexing variable dot and we want to access the MP ID. That's what I like about code blocks. It just gives you the specific variable that you might want to access. It's really that convenient. So that's why I recommended code block from the very first tutorial. So I'm going to go over here and modify this a little bit so it's going to look a little better. Okay, now we're going to retrieve the information. So basically, it's the same. The same loop is going to be used again. So I'm just going to copy and paste that below and with the terminating bracket alright now I'm going to type in printf alright slash n slash n and it's going to say well what it's going to say uh, name double dot and it's going to display the name so percent s for the string comma the e of i dot name alright it's the same again and again. I'm just gonna copy and paste that thrice, okay? From the name, I'm gonna change it to salary. I'm gonna put in all caps. Salary percent D or I, whatever you wish, and then dot salary. All right, there you go. That's done. And dot emp id. And it's going to change it to percent %d as well, and it's going to be to EMPID. So basically, we are done here. I'm going to run it. Hopefully, no errors. There you go. No errors at all. And ask us to enter the name. I'm going to enter the starting into names. Let's say starting with Joey. Salary of. All right. EMPID. I'm going to enter random stuff. I'm not interested in that right now. It's just demonstrating you that this really works. Alright, another name. Oh my god. Okay. Salary that much. EMPID that much. It's gonna go basically five times. So I'm gonna enter one two more names, alright? Let's say Steve. And it's gonna enter the salary and that much of EMP ID and then John at the last one and that's the numbers now it's going to display name joy salary that emp id that alright so that's basically that and one minor mistake that i committed over here is rather than copying slash n over here i put it directly that so that's going to cause some issues so make sure that you put a slash n rather than just directly that okay that, sorry for that just copy and pasting is never good so if you run it again, it's basically going to do the same, all right. But it, the main thing is that it accesses those data members and it retrieves information, it stores information, both, just using an array of objects. It's really that simple. It's, it's all that in one place. You can create uh, elements, uh, let's say independently, like e1, e2, e3. Rather than doing that, just put it into an array. It's a simple accessing method using just those brackets and the indexing element in between of that. With a using the dot operator, you can access each data member of the structure. It's really that simple. So anyway, this has been a channel to chaos. I hope you like this video. Rate, comment, subscribe. Thank you very much.